It's Wednesday the 29th of December and uh, we've got Overrun Compound this week. We've charged shooters and the star hero is Hilltop Maggie. I uh, hope everyone had a, a brilliant Christmas last week um, and you got everything you wanted. And um, we've got New Year's coming up so I don't know if, who's going out but if you are have a, have a great time and stay safe. But uh, back to this week's challenge. Um, got some tricky maps this week, especially with Hilltop Maggie being star hero. I mean, some of them were difficult enough at, with a, a proper team looking at you, uh, Data Center. Um, but there are some teams that should hopefully make it a little bit easier for us. So let's uh, let's get on with it. So first one we have is Car Crash, which is a nice easy kill all walkers with 13 normal walkers on the map. So Hilltop Maggie's leader traits never going to take into effect, um, considering it, that only happens if the, you hit a special walker. So um, charge shooters, if you've got a spear gun, that'll probably help um, take a lot of damage off a few walkers to start with. Um, Otherwise, you're probably looking at um, Hilltop Maggie leading Mercer and Yumiko, or Princess and Yumiko. And that is probably going to be the best team for most of the uh, maps this week. Um, but that should get you through this without too much of an issue. So the next map we have is called Push On. Um, it's an interesting map. This one, you've got two tanks on it. One starts down at the bottom here, under where it says your turn. Um, and there's one to the right. And they usually start, the one on the right usually starts um, unaware, so it doesn't move around. And you've got some wandering walkers off to the right as well, over here. Um, it does have a threat counter, but it starts at zero. So if you cannot create threat, um, you'll never have an incoming. So if you've got winter bows and um, a Daryl's assault rifle, then um, use them. If not, use your Miko um, with a silent weapon and just try not to fire with the others unless absolutely necessary. Um, as I say, Haggy, um, Princess, um, Mercer and your Miko is going to work well. If you want fire to uh, speed up the killing of the tank, put it on Hilltop Maggie and then just don't fire with her. Just use your Miko's firing trait to get what you want on fire. Um, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem if you've got those silent weapons. Yeah, if you don't have a Daryl's assault rifle, then you could try putting Huntsman Daryl in there to try and keep the threat down. Um, or Survivor's Rick um, to do the damage to the tank as well. Another hero you could use, um, actually, if you've got a Morning Star, is uh, Ezekiel. Um, because you can just get the tank on fire and uh, let him take the hit. Well, go to get hit and you'll just keep pushing it away without taking any damage, apart from fire damage. Um, so that might work if you don't have a Daryl's Assault Rifle as well. Um, so this is it, over to the right. Once you've killed the other tank, uh, the exit lines up and you can get to the exit. Uh, next map is a death trap. Uh, usually it used to be three bruisers or Gabriel and two bruisers. Um, starts with a few walkers, quite a few walkers on the map and a tank. Um, not really going to be much use to using um, Hilltop Maggie in lead. You could probably go Hilltop Maggie and two bruisers. It would still work quite well. Um, or you can just kill everything and keep the threat down using Haggy, Mercer, Yumiko. Yeah, not much more to say about this. Um, gets onto that door as quickly as possible uh, if you're using bruisers. And create a nice little stun wall. Uh, if not, stay at the back and just kill everything. Um Keep the threat down if you can, if you've got a hunting bow. And then uh, get on the door. Um, and uh, yeah, that that's not much more to say about that one. There's not much more you can do. Um, again, you could put in Huntsman Daryl up to a point just to keep the threat down um, and take things out one at a time. Um, 
possibly using a hangy with a cripple weapon to stop the tank from being able to actually hit Daryl um, as you prowl him. That might be quite a good way of doing it as well. Um, yeah, there is the tank on the right hand side there. Um, sometimes it'll wander off to the left and you can go up the top and not have to deal with it, which can be quite useful. Rat Race is the next map. Uh, it's a, a zigzag of cabinets. You've got to work your way around. There's two tanks um, on the map. One starts in the front area, one starts in the back, but the one at the back tends to wander towards you at some point. Um, same team again, really. Hilltop Maggie, uh, Mercer and Yumiko with silent weapons should get you through it quite easily. Um, again, Hunting Bow if you've got it. Uh, to keep the threat down while you, where you can. Um, obviously that stops working at mid-levels when you can't actually kill anything with it to get charged. Um, again, probably a good one to have a fire weapon on Hilltop Maggie. Um, so you can set those tanks on fire silently with Yumiko's leader trait. Um, and if you've got Princess to charge up on a fire and uh, crippled walkers, even better. But Mercer should be able to blast through it quite easily. So there's a zigzag and there's the other tank. Once you got to the exit, um, once you got round, you can get to the exit. Do watch out for this top right corner because uh, there is sometimes walkers up there, um, which you won't be able to see until you get round. Data center is probably gonna be the hardest map on the set. It always was, even with um, spy, it wasn't particularly easy. Um, got open three cabinets. There's a tank uh, to the bottom left, which is unaware, and one to the top middle next to the top cabinet, which, if you move down at all, usually becomes wandering, if not aggressive. And you've got an incoming, and there's usually quite a few walk starting walkers. Um, can't see many here, but there's normally six or seven, I think. Really don't know what's going to be best for this. I'm thinking probably Hilltop Maggie, Princess, and um, Yumiko. Um, if you've got a spear gun, crippled spear gun on either of the shooters, um, that might be good to get the uh, charge points going for Princess. Um, it's going to be tough, uh, whatever, whatever team you use. Um, hopefully someone will figure out a, a nice easy way of doing it, but... Not sure what that would be. Um, a lower level, you might be able to use Huntsman Darrow or a Scout to keep the threat down, but um, there's so many on there at the start, it, it's not easy and there's not much room to prowl. Next map, last map is Delivery Man. Um, search boxes, there's one tank starts on the board, uh, a quick incoming. Um, Again, probably going to be quite easy with a silent shooter and Mercer team. Um, this bottom right box is flashing red. And if you have to open that, a tank spawns at the top middle. Leave it till last. If you do need to open it, you can open it from the sort of right hand side and the tank won't be able to reach you. So it's not too much of a problem. Um, but do be aware of that. Um, and usually I go with this, uh, a beta threat reduction team, um, Hilltop Maggie and another shooter and Daryl might work for a while or beta. Um, but the incoming comes in so quickly, unless you can get that threat down to every turn, then it's, um, it can be a bit tricky, but. Anyway, I hope some of that helps. Um, as you can see, you can probably guess what most of my teams are going to be. Um, sorry, it's not the best of commentaries this week. It's sort of kind of rushing it a little bit. Um, but have a happy new year and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.